Alright, this is a tutorial on how to do lightsaber effects with Legos. Alright, the first thing you want to gonna do is open a picture of a Lego guy with a lightsaber, just like this. It's already opened. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to go on to layers, new layer, and then open this up, put it on foreground, background. You can save it whatever you like. I'll save it as lightsaber. And then click that, it should become all black. And go over to uh, mode and go on to screen. It should come right back and you'll see that you now have a file named lightsaber. Now you're going to want to go on paths tool and you're going to want to go around the lightsaber. And just around it, you don't need to go to the bottom here. And go down here click selection from path and you'll see these lines around it and you're gonna wanna go on paint and make this white doesn't really matter what it's called and make your brush big and then paint over the lightsaber in white and you wanna go gonna wanna go on select and click none and then go back to your lightsaber right click and click duplicate and you want to do that one more time this thing will let me alright um, go on the first lightsaber down at the bottom go under filters blur gauge and blur and you won't see anything but you're you um, you can really make it whatever you want but I always make it 40 and then link these together and click OK and you'll notice it'll take a little while to uh, load down here. Alright, so that's done loading. You'll notice the screen will kind of shimmer and it'll become all glowy. And then you want to go on lightsaber, copy again, go to filters, blur, gauge and blur, and do that with all three photos. And you know, so take a little while to load. Generally takes longer on vistas. Alright. Um, then go on your final copy, go to filters, blur, gauge and blur one more time, and let that load. And you'll see how every time you do the filters, it starts to glow a little more. You're going to want to go on the top one, right click on it, and click merge down. Now it should become all black, and you should be able to still see the lightsaber. Then you want to go on mode, and click screen. And then you want to go on the top photo again, right click on it, and click merge down. And then go on mode again, and click screen. And now you want to uh, click lightsaber go over to colors and go to color balance and you want to keep it on midtones make whatever color you want I'm gonna make it green click OK should go down and then you want to click lightsabers again click colors color balance go to shadows this time make whatever color you want click OK again and you'll notice that these lines disappear and that's what makes the color more pronounced and then you want to go on that again and go under highlights this time make whatever color you want and you can really make it however many times you want it just how much you want the color pronounced and then you want to go under that one more time and keep it on midtones and then I'm done. That's as much color as I want. And then after that, you're just about as done. And you save, export. Now you can save it as a different file if you want the previous photo, 
but I always overlay it. And wait for that to save, and you're done.